Hello everyone, and welcome to the start of an educational series of videos that highlights the usefulness and utility of Ironfish. My name is Edwin, and I work at Ironfish. Today we will be going over how to mine the new algorithm FishHash on testnet using LOLminer. Start by heading over to ironfish.network, our website, and then go to get started. And then you go to install your node, install node.js first. We're using Windows, so let's use the Windows installer. Go to downloads, install, leave it all default. Okay, continue, continue. While we wait for this to load, let's go over the commands that we will be using. Um, these are basically the five commands that you're gonna be needing. I'll leave them up on the screen so that you don't have to watch the entire video if you've already watched it. Come back. Now we open up command prompt. And we run the one line command to install Ironfish. npm install dash g Ironfish. And it wants us to update. Okay, that's fine. And then we start our node. And now we're connected to the, to the Ironfish network. Woohoo! We see here that we have a new account created. We have enabled telemetry. Oh, well, we have the option to enable telemetry. Okay, but since this is mainnet, we're going to want to exit this and open a new one. Now we will be running ironfish reset dash dash network ID equals zero so that we can tell the node that we want it to be a test net node. You're about to destroy a local copy of the blockchain. This is fine. Network ID will be changed from one to the new value of zero. Zero is what we want for testnet. So we hit yes. Running ironfish wallet create, and we're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call it testnet. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it fish, fishies, anything you want. So this is our public address. And the first thing that you should always do when creating a new wallet is save your private keys. We're gonna do ironfish wallet export, and we're going to tell it that we want to export the our testnet account. And here's our seed phrase. You're gonna to want to print that out. If you have a printer, just copy paste it, save. Don't save it, but print it, write it down. It's a lot of letters and numbers, but yeah, make sure you store it in a safe place. Well, this is testnet, so you lose your funds, you lose zero dollars, and that's that's all fine. But on mainnet, that's when you want to save it. Okay, well, now that we have our address, we're going to go open up our bat file, and we're going to input our address. And we're going to change the, change the algorithm to fish hash dash testnet. The pool we're going to be using is Hero Miners. You can head on over to fishhash.herominers.com. Head over to the start and use whichever stratum is closest to you. I mean, I will be using this one as that one's closer to me. And we can see that the port is 1145. You can do solo if you want by adding solo for your wallet address. So here's our wallet address dot worker name. And that's the pool that we're mining to. So we can change it to fish hash test. Uh, you can also add extra parameters for setting your overclocks, fan speed, all that good stuff. But we're not going to be doing any of that today. So then we exit it after we save it and we let it run. You can see we're getting about 27 mega hash at the start. You can come back to the home page, scroll down, input your wallet address, look it up. And shortly you'll be able to see your worker stats. Just give it a minute. Might not show right now since this is before the hard fork. But by the time you watch this video, hopefully everything's up and running. I found a share. And here it is. Current hash rate. About 9 iron. Uh, let's pretend these don't really matter at this point because... Well, this, this is testnet, but there you go. If you have any other questions, please feel free to head on over to our Discord. 
which can be found on our website, dive into Discord. You can head on over to our mining channel, ask any mining related questions, chat with the community and general channel, uh, give any feedback. All feedback is welcomed. See you on the next one.